Hi, I'm Brian. I am the artist and designer of the Danish modern furniture that you see on our website. I'm here today to actually introduce how to put together to assemble a Danish modern bed. So we're going to go through this step by step. Today I have an oak Danish modern bed with me. Um, I have uncrated it, but other than that I've just gotten it set aside so that we can do this piece by piece. So let's go ahead and start. Here's the headboard. I've pretty well gotten this into position where I want it in my bedroom. Then over here, you're going to see you're going to see the footboard, you're going to see the side rails. These are the center supports and then the bed slats. So let's go ahead and just start. I'm going to start with the side rails. You can do this either by hand or using a razor blade. I'm going to use a razor blade in the interest of time. I'm going to be very careful not to mar my wood. So I'm just going to cut this wrapping. And then, this is all a toolless assembly. So I make certain that these teeth are up, not down. I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to pop this in. Okay? Just let the headboard kind of lean like that. Then I'm going to do this other side. I'm going to make the headboard lean up just a little and I'm done. Now, coming over here to the footboard, you're going to notice a bag taped to the footboard with four screws in it. These screws are an extra support. There's a hole in the center of each metal bracket that you can put these screws in. But for now, I'm just going to set the bag aside and I'm going to bring the footboard over. Same story, you just pop these in. All toolless assembly. And officially, the bed's assembled. Okay, now again, I like the extra strength and support of these screws. These screws also, when you cinch them up, allow nothing to move so you don't get any squeaking, anything else. Generally, you don't get that anyway. But I'm going to just put these in. Now, you can use a number two screwdriver for this, or, in, again, in the interest of time, I'm just going to use a screw gun. And these just go in the center of each one, and you just put them in. Okay, now that that is done, again, remember, that is purely optional. You do not need to do it if you don't want. Next, I'm going to go ahead, again, slice this banding. Again, putting these teeth facing up. I'm going to put these in. Okay, then I'm going to go through, I'm going to check the feet, kind of see if they're level, move them around so that they feel fairly level. You can tell, I mean, what it does is it gets a little tight. Now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and move the slats over. These come in packs of two. Okay, there's two packs for each one. So I'm just going to go ahead. These I don't really care if I scratch up. So I'm just going to run it across. And go ahead and move them into the back. Now again, these just pop right into place. All you do, you just start right here, and they're just going to fit in to each one of these. 
And I'm going to just go through and I'm going to put both all of these in. Now in the interest of time, because you guys don't want to watch me putting all of these in, let's go ahead and pause and then we'll come back when I'm almost done. Okay, so we're back. I got five slats left. It's taken me about five minutes to do. Um, very simple, you just slip them in these teeth that I had shown you. So let's go ahead and finish this. And while I'm finishing this, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the design of these slats. Um, this is a hybrid of the Italian and the Scandinavian way of doing bed slats and bed supports. The reason I do this is simply because it's extremely strong. Um, the pounds per square inch each one of these slats is carrying is so minimal it's, it, it's just crazy. Um, you can check out my other video where I go into this a little bit more in depth, but it, it's just strong. Um, you do not need a foundation, you do not need a box spring. This also works great for Tempur-Pedic mattresses or organic mattresses where they need to breathe underneath. This works extremely well. So that is the video. Um, if you ever have to adjust the feet, if you notice that they're off for that, I just climb under here and I can get to them. Any help, thank you for watching. You can check out the other videos in depth a little bit more. On the slats, um, you'll actually see me standing on the slats. I'm a 200 pound man and the slats hold my weight. And you can imagine with a mattress and two people on top, the, the weight's much more spread out. Thank you again, and please feel free to email us any questions.